Hello and welcome to another Logic Pro tutorial with Roaring Records. I hope you're having a great day. Um, today I'm going to talk about something that is not any way a hard and fast rule. This is a opinion of this guy right here as to how you may want to go about saving your projects when you work in Logic Pro. So um, I have here an unsaved project. It is still called Untitled Tracks. Um, and I'm assuming that at this point in time, I've done everything that I need to to be able to make this work. So I'm going to come over here and go to File, Save As. The first time you save it should be Save As. I am going to store this while I am working on it, either in my desktop or documents. But for me, it's going to go on the desktop while it's a project that is live and I'm working on it often. You have two options here. You can choose to either do it as a package or do it as a folder. Let me offer that doing it as a folder is nicer. When you do it as a folder, it places a folder on your desktop that stores the logic file and everything that goes with it in one nice, neat place. So if you do any recording, it puts the audio files that you record into that folder. If you do any uh, new sampler stuff or any of these things listed here on the screen that you see in front of you, um, if you use any of that, it stores it all in a nice folder so it stays with it whenever you move that folder. This is the way that I like to do it as opposed to the package which can put things a lot of different places and only leaves the logic file itself on your desktop. So I like folder and just because it's easier in the end, go ahead and hit all the checks. It'll store everything in the folder instead of storing it places that you don't like it. It may take up a little bit more space, but your projects will load faster and everything you need will be there when you get done. So I'm going to name this uh, test project for YouTube and I'm going to store that um, right there and I'll hit save and it's going to make that package for me on my desktop. And the nice thing is the next time I go to bounce my project or section and say I'm going to use an MP3, I'm going to set my bit rate up high and it's only going to bounce this little section right here that's under my cycle tool. Um, I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to put it inside of this test projects for YouTube bounces folder. So it's all housed within the folder for this project and not housed outside of the folder for this project. So then you can hit bounce and you are good to go on making that turn into an mp3 so now i'm available to go grab that off my desktop um, just the way i do it you might want to do it a different way but i think you'll find that helpful have a great day if you liked it feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe below